Well, Blasino is still with us, and we have right here with us a music artist. You just listen to his song, Destiny Banks. You listen to Stronger, but he's right here with us. Mm -hmm. Good to have you join us today, Destiny Banks. Uh, thank you for having me. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Destiny Banks, what's the name about? How did it come about? Let me start from Destiny. Destiny was given to me by people around me in school. Oh, okay. My mom bought a clue for me when I was young. And it was customized destiny. You know, oh, so okay. So people start calling me destiny, destiny. I was like, ah, you saw. Okay. You just, 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 just um, in a second, we'll get back to you in a second. Let's just take a very short oh, break. Right, 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 right. Please right. just stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. Destiny Banks is still here and it was just about telling us how we got that name. I mean, Destiny Banks. There's yeah. the bank aspect. I like money, by the yeah. way. <laughs> Destiny <laughs> aspect. So, Destiny Banks, how did that come about? Yeah, Destiny. Destiny okay. was given to me by people around me in school. My classmates. My mommy bought the clothes for me when I was young, probably when I was like eight years old in secondary school. Like, she bought the school for me. Like, people start calling me Destiny. Destiny. So, from there, I got the name Destiny because it got more, the clothes draw more attention okay. people start calling me destiny destiny so i was like when i not get myself professionally like, what am i going to do as an artist because at the time i don't want to be an artist okay. understand so i need to add something that that goes with me so i need to add like my son name to it so i can't just put the i just put in a short word like destiny banks so my son name is bankoli so oh, that's a short okay. word of it banks destiny you understand banks. Okay. so but if you can see it from the from other perspective like destiny oh. cash well, I won't have that. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, okay. Destiny banks, what's your real name my real name is bankoli brian madidiba Oh, oh, powerful. Okay. Bank yes. Call Ibrahim. I did it back. Talk yes. to us about Destiny Banks. Music for you, how did it start and how has it been? Oh, music for me was tough. Like when it, when I started, my dad doesn't want me to do music at all. Okay. But there was a time my dad wasn't around. He's not around for some while, but like for a month, he wasn't around. So I tried to work, I, I tried to meet my mom, like, Mom, you know, this music, this is what I want to do. Like, I love me doing music mm -hmm. she, she asked me like ah i was gonna go about it i said no problem she, said, she just keep she keep doing giant me like i should keep doing what, what i want to do you okay. understand so if i love what i want to do as well do you understand but there was a day my daddy wasn't around my mom was around so i, I spoke to my mom that i want to go for a show and it's an overnight show so she said she said ah your daddy's not around you can't go anywhere ah mm -hmm. i said ah mommy i need to go these are the things i need to go you know the person i'm going with is not a bad person as well mm -hmm. he also is a producer of my she understand so i spoke to my mom my mom gave me the chance to go so my daddy when he came back when he came back i was like ah you're no home you're no home we went for a show i said, my mom just speak to him like mm -hmm. so from there when they start seeing me performing along, people are, people in the area start calling me Destiny Bank, Destiny Bank, just, they're, they're feeling my music already. Mm -hmm. So they don't have choice. That they're like, ah, it seems this is what this boy wants to do. Even now, my daddy is not like 100, he's right. giving me 100 on it. <laughs> like, you understand that? Like, uh -huh. So that's what it's this. That, that, that's good. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll continue with your, your background in music and how you, know, you, you get creative with your sounds. Let's yeah. just go on this commercial break. We'll be right back, please. We still have Destiny Banks in the house. Destiny Banks, talk to us. Music. Um, how did it begin from the church, you know, and the journey now? I mean, how, how, when did you go professional? I know you've talked to us about, um, talked to us rather about the struggles at first and now you're having the full support of your parents. Yeah. I think professionally, I'll say like two years ago, let me uh -huh. say professionally. Like when I know I'm doing music, okay. you know, there's different routine where you, you yeah, are doing music, uh -huh. people doesn't realize it, but, but professionally, professionally, when I know I'm doing music, when I'm feeling it, okay. you understand, when I know what the audience wants, you understand. Okay. So, let me say two years ago, yeah, okay. yeah, that's where I start professionally. professionally. Okay, so all along, did you start from the church? Okay. Do you know? Mm, ah, let me say, I started from school, I started from, from school, school. From, oh, school. Okay. from school, from school. I do most free stuff for my friends, like. From school, I started doing freestyle. People like, ah, no, if Destiny is not here, I know Destiny will do more okay. freestyle for us, you understand? People are start feeling me. I have more friends, more f male mm -hmm. friends, even female friends. You know, female friends, they are the ones that take your music to another level, mm -hmm. you understand me? So I started making more music in school. I institution, started doing my own thing, you understand? That's all it. So I dropped a song when I was in, when I was in under level, Afalake. 
Oh. So that song, I feel like it dragged more people's attention. Probably people think I was singing to a particular guy, mm -hmm. that beers for like a, okay. you understand? But to me, I just took it in another way around. You understand? Like, I for like a, any girl can for like him, you understand? Oh. So that's oh, why I took it on another level. For like him, you no, like any lady, <laughs> any lady. You know, you know, you know like the, the name for like there's a name beer for like a, for like a, you understand? But my own, I'm, to my own level, what I'm talking about is that to drag more attention, you understand? People might be able to take it up. I'm singing this song to a particular lady, uh -huh. but I'm not singing this song to a particular lady. It is just, I'm just using that that to just drag people's people. attention. Yeah. Do you understand me? Like any lady can for like me. Any mm -hmm. lady can for like uh, me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I for like what for like me. You understand? That's just oh, it. Yeah. That's interesting. You understand? So people drag more attention. So there was a girl being for like a people like ah, this is this person that's singing to know. Well, you understand? But with that, I, I use that to just draw people's attention. Do you okay. understand me? But the song is doing good as well on social media platform as well. Yeah. That, okay, when did you? What year was that? Yeah, I dropped the song in 2020. 2020. Oh, oh yeah, two years yeah. ago. Like yeah, two years ago. Yeah, well, that, that's Okay, so how yeah. would you describe your sound? Ah, I describe my sound sound like I use it to motivate people. You understand? Uh -huh. You listen to my song, you know what I'm talking about. My my music speaks all about me. Okay. Sings all about me. Personal reflection. Yes, exactly. That's okay. just it. I just drop a song stronger. I just drop a remix. You understand with Timmy Boy. Okay. I don't know if you have heard of Timmy Boy. Yes. He's also doing good. I just drop a song okay. with Tim Timmy Boy. Uh, yeah. Th that, he's that's also good. doing some he's also doing good in the streets. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the process. How how do you write songs? Do you write your songs yourself? Yeah, I do I do that by myself. Yourself, yeah. okay. Um I know that those who sing um who sing and they do other things like producing, mixing and mastering and all of that. Yeah. Do you do that or yeah, it's just a singer? Mm, I just compose my song, I do music, yeah. Okay. Um, one or one way or the other, I influence people with my sound. With your sound, oh, okay. yeah, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, w what are we looking at? What are we expecting? I know you just dropped a single. I just dropped no, no, a single like a remix. A remix. I yeah, dropped okay. the single first, okay. and now I just dropped the remix with okay. Timmy Boy, and the song is doing good. Um, ah, early next year. <laughs> I, like I'm, I'm dropping my EP in the last oh, year. Oh, that's nice. great! It's in the I was, Let me see the title of the EP already. Okay. Like, never give up. Never give, That's up. Never, give up. The, never give up means like the struggle as an artist, what I'm mm -hmm. facing as an artist. Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah the song just speaks artist. about me. Yeah, exactly. Speaks about me, all about me. Like what I'm facing as an artist. Now I don't have anybody support. I don't have any management. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just matching myself. You understand? That's just it. So are we yeah. looking at features and our projects? Mm, I can't say it. I can't say it. Oh, no, okay. I think it's more, more, more about me. More about me. Oh, yeah. More okay. about me. Just more about me. Yeah. If, if you're stronger. Feel stronger, I see more, uh, something that I see attract to never give up. You understand? Mm -hmm. Stronger, I'm coming out stronger. You understand? That's, that's it. But, well, that's where is nice. this coming from? Have you had yeah. any experience? I mean, stronger. From what you said, now I'm coming out stronger. And yeah. then another one, never give up. Yeah. Is there a story, something you'd like to share with us, an experience or something? I, I said it earlier, like what I'm facing as an artist, what oh, I'm okay. facing as an upcoming artist, my struggle. Yeah, so is there any story you want to share with us or just leave it there? Uh, let me just. Uh, what, what, what is this that I will sing part of the stronger? From there, you will know what I'm facing okay. as an artist. Okay. You understand? That, that's fine. L <laughs> let's talk about music now. Um, yes, you've worked with Timmy Brown and others, but yeah. who are those you look forward to working with in the future? Mm, I look up to work with LX. Do you know LX? Yeah, why not? Zaza. <laughs> I look up to work with Zaza Dividu. Okay. And LX, shout out to him. He has been supporting me one way or the other. Something big is coming, something huge is coming. That's yeah. great. Like a collaboration with him? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. Because yeah. he also had, you know, his breakthrough through his collaboration with Whiskey yeah. and yeah, all yeah. of that, which is great. A big bro to me, yeah. Yeah, which is great. Yes. Um, so, um, the music industry now, what's your perspective about it? Uh, everyone's shouting Afrobeats to the world. How do you think the Nigerian music industry is now in terms of its landscape? Ah. So on another level, Afrobeat is Afrobeat is helping like worldwide. Mm -hmm. Like whiskey is doing good. Even the young ones are there. Like I always tell them, I won't even say they are young ones. Like Rema, Fireboy, yeah. they are doing That's great. They are doing great. You understand? With that, that will give us more danger to work hard as mm -hmm. an upcoming. You understand? Yes, sir. That, that's nice um so um l l let's also um you know t still talk about you a bit now in terms of the music um are you looking forward to being on the liberal at any point or you still want to continue with your path as an independent artist then grow into that uh, formidable i guess you can't even wait to get on the label <laughs> 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 mm, 
this labor of a thing mm -hmm. is, goes a long way. Okay. If I say labor that suits me, okay. that I'm okay with the terms and conditions, uh, terms and, yeah. uh, condition, rules okay. and regulations, I'm going to go for it. And if it's not okay by me, I'll do my team myself. Yes, oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, talking about stage performance. That, that's another uh, thing, you know. Um, these days, that there's that emphasis on oh, let's have live bands, you know, live performance sure. rather. Um, we do not want the DJ scratching sure. all of that. So, how does that come across to you as an artist? How yeah. are, how comfortable are you? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. You have. I'm, I've been. I've been. I've, I've been used to it. You understand. I can yeah, do okay. something with that as well, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because as an artist, you need to be the whole around that. You need, as an artist, you need, you need to work on yourself. You need to mm -hmm. do Afro, pop, and all that. Even R&B. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, so why do you need great. to do all that? Is it so that uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to penetrate uh, the markets more? Mm -hmm. Or just for you, just like you being versatile or something? It's also part of it. But as an artist, you need to be versatile. Like, music nowadays, the way it goes nowadays, if you see the light of Ashake, Mm -hmm. about um, the music to another level, you understand? Track people more attention with another level. The way Ashaka is doing is more music is different from Ilkesh, yeah. is different from um, oh, Sanku, is different okay. from Slatan, you understand me? That's so true. you need to be her and that, you need to switch all over. So you understand that, that that's level. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you're not a musician, what, what would you have been? I'm a musician. Ah, I'm a journalist already. Let me oh. go. <laughs> I'm a journalist. <laughs> I studied in Nigerian sub journalism. Oh. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good. Yeah. You want to quickly, you should probably do I'm something. looking at the fact that we're pressed for time, time. you know. <laughs> so I, I would have just have taken him on that. Yes, you would yeah. have given us a report on <laughs> what, <laughs> what he went through <laughs> while you were coming. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for, yeah. for your time on the show. Um, yeah, thank you. Even as we wrap up the show, we have to send our birthday greetings to one of ours. Um, the mom, Mrs. Chukwe Maker, is celebrating today. Chama Marik Balam's mom is celebrating her birthday. We wish her, um, you know, a more blissful life in sound health and please and we say thank you mom for all you do for Choma Amari Bulam. She's definitely a kind staff to work with and we wish her the very best and the family at large. You want to take us out with the call of day? Absolutely, but before then, happy birthday to Mrs. Mm -hmm. Chukwe Mika for you know giving us an amazing person that's Choma Amari Bulam. Well, very quickly, I will wrap up the show with the quote for today and it's from Nicole Kidman. The quote reads, Life has got all those twists and turns. You've got to hold on tight and off you go. I think this is quite explanatory yep. and I wouldn't be saying much about it. It's apt. Absolutely. To enjoy the rest of the day and thanks for tuning in. My name is Perpetua Fasami Peter. Till we meet again next week. Enjoy the weekend. To have a great weekend. I'm Samson Olede.